Okay. Today's video is going to be like the value of home ownership. Why you should own a home? Well, it really depends on where you live and your personal situation. But overall, it is probably the best thing to do. Down this way. Old downtown under reconstruction. I need to make a little bit longer videos, apparently. So, let me give you a tour where I'm from. Move it down this way. Pops Barbershop. Want to relocate a business? That's a it's under construction around here. It's like gentrification in the making. Oh, that's the county jail. Okay. I did make some notes. I'm probably going to read them backwards. Should not let me roll on this side. My old rusty truck. But, why you should own a home? Build an equity. I'm going to show you the value of equity later. I'm going to insert some uh, screenshots. Uh, from my home in the beautiful city of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Long-term savings. Paying your mortgage is kind of like a savings account to an extent. Building wealth. Building wealth. Home ownership is like, well, I say real estate is the number one component of building wealth. Well, a big component for most people. Uh, when you own a home, you have a sense of community residential areas that are mainly homes have lower crime rates uh, tax deductions property tax deductions I'm actually gonna do some editing on this video so yeah okay now let's hit the racial aspect of the racial wealth gap of uh, why you should probably own a home if you're a minority Especially if you're a black minority. The first quarter of 2020, white home ownership was 73.3%. Black home ownership was 44.7%. And for clarification purposes, home ownership does include if you have a mortgage and you're paying on your home, if you don't own your home outright. So the 44.7 means that, like, roughly. 66% of black people are renters. Renting is much more expensive. Much more expensive. Much more expensive. I've bought homes for $3,000. I've bought houses for $500. Not that you live in. But I have a nice house in the suburbs. I bought in this city for $65,000. I'll show you some pictures later on. Okay. The racial home ownership the racial home ownership gap is tied to the racial wealth gap susan wash watcher of the worthen school of business that's, that's something right here now here's a statistic that just really got me white high school dropouts have a higher home ownership rates than blacks with a college degree so Black people with a college degree have a lower home ownership slightly than white high school dropouts. The reason for this was because of uh, black people are five times more likely to default on uh, student loans and student loans.
lot of construction. Stuff coming. It's coming. You can see the improvement coming to Palm Bluff. I mean, people maybe remember Palm Bluff from like the 60s, 70s before I was born. Yeah, apparently this used to be like a booming place, a happening place. We're cutting the concrete, so I didn't want to really go all the way down to the courthouse. There are some nice shops on the next little block over over here. Good cupcake spot. Palm Bluff, I guess, has a reputation for being unsafe, and I guess any place can be unsafe, but it's not that bad. You, you see, like, we don't really even have homeless people or nothing. Saracen Lake. It used to be Lake Palm Bluff. They changed the name of it. Okay. This building with the sign. This building's been here before Arkansas was even part of the United States. Uh, they used to have an office in there. The sheriff's used to have an office across the street. It's the old courthouse. I left my mask in the truck, so yeah, I'm sorry, it's a few places I guess I'll go right back to the truck for that. I guess I can walk down here and show you like the this is Barricade Street.
Mitchell Expressway. Uh, type of one, if you know who Martha Mitchell is and the significance of Martha Mitchell. I don't really want to walk that far, but we could go to Martha Mitchell's old house. It's like, uh, just a few blocks up the street. Pretty good cupcake spot right over here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're even open. This is, I'm not going to say one of the oldest cities in the south. I say the oldest, one of the oldest cities west of the Mississippi. Uh, it's one of the only few cities that didn't burn during the Civil War. The Civil War, like, took place, like, right there. Oh, shit. I think I stepped on a nail. I'm in the construction zone, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have that cleaned up before you get here. And I've seen a lot of talk online about like starting an all black city. Like, Palm Bluff is like it's 75, 80% black, all as is. We have black mayor, black police chief, black superintendents. Just need some more black people to invest in some black businesses around here. Matter of fact, I'm probably just going to make a part two video and I'm going to insert some pictures and screenshots. Let me show you how affordable it would be to live here if this is where you would want to live. I'm not saying it's the best place on earth, but you know, I see a lot of people talking about going back to Africa. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, like, Everything is here. We just need more positive people doing positive things. And we can go a long way. Every, you know, everything is here. Like a population of almost 50,000. It's just a, it is an underserved community though. We do have the casino. And they're, yeah, they're opening up a larger casino across from the little casino. It's supposed to have, I think, three restaurants and a sports bar.
I mean, you gotta look at Palm Love like you're getting in on a ground floor opportunity. It's space and opportunity. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. At one point, this place really was something. It went into decline. It looks like gentrification is on the way.